All right, welcome back to one more edition of Boxing I Got Out There. <clears throat> so, um, breaking news. I don't know, I'm just kidding. Now, nah, <laughs> most recent news. Uh, uh, Ryan Garcia basically his fight is basically off. Um, it was just basically it's told a couple uh, minutes ago. Um, boxing scene reported it. it says here that uh, Sparrow. Spyro, whatever the nigga's name is. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, got arrested. This nigga Garcia is asked out. So he basically has no opponent. So the fight's basically canceled for him. Um, it's basically, it's too late, you know, to get someone to replace him. You know, last minute opponent. Um, so according to Pelps, uh, the manager... There was a warrant out for uh, Sparrow's arrest for a domestic dispute that took place in Philly uh, in April. Uh, Sparrow allegedly bandi uh, ba ba brandished a firearm on a woman. The incident occurred after a woman threw Sparrow's clothes out, out of a window and there were other people involved. However, Sparrow was never served any papers following the incident because he doesn't own or rent property and is not listed under any address. So, um, basically, he Sparrow was running in L.A. Friday morning with his entourage to shed the few pounds of his frame to make the way for light, lightweight. Suddenly, police cars started circling the area. Sparrow and his friends got in their cars and went inside a local Target. After leaving the store, they were surrounded by police and helicopters. Damn. Okay, shit got real. Um... Uh, he was then taken to uh, to Central Jail in L.A. County Sheriff's Department County Jail. Um, so basically, yeah, that's all they're kind of saying. They're gonna see a judge. I guess you see he. They're calling a lawyer for him. We'll see what happens. Um, probably they're probably gonna try to schedule a fight for for Garcia. Probably in a month or so or. You know, that's what I would do at least. Yeah, he he's a young fighter, but man. Golden Boy is just going through a rush a rough patch, you know. You know, it's it's hard for these guys. But um, on other news, I guess they finalized um the Canelo Alvarez uh Colove fight for the MGM um November second. So that's a that's a done deal. Um you know, my thoughts on it, I guess Armando, uh, Canelo has some comments on saying that he's facing one of the most feared champions of recent years. Um, yeah, but he hasn't been feared lately. <laughs> he was, like you said it in your statement, was once. Once. <laughs> so it's like, now you're trying to fight this dude who we all know is vulnerable to the body. Uh, who has been knocked out twice. Um, who clearly has no inside game, and we all know Canelo's inside games is on point. His uh, head movement and body movement, moving you know lateral. You know he got that little he got that little uh, Mayweather in him after the Mayweather fight. Um, so we know he should be able to control that fight easily from the inside. Um, body wise, you know, a lot of people say, oh, well, he's a smaller man. Well, yeah, technically in height, you know, but we all know Canelo likes to walk around probably in a good 200 pounds and, you know, he, he's heard to height, he height, rehydrate for fights for like uh, even up to 180 pounds. So, you know, I, that weight is really not a, not a, I don't think the weight's going to be an issue for him. Um, he's already fought at 168, even though they're promoting this as a that that he's like jumping up to weight classes, which is not the case. He's already a he was already a champion at 168, fought there. Um, he fought Chavez at 164, so you know he he he's been in higher weights, you know, and close to the the 175 mark. Um, I don't know. It's just more. More of the bullshit. I, I don't understand why Canelo has to do all that. Um, 
I feel like he should try at least to clear out the 160 division before even thinking of going up, you know, do something, you know, do do what you said. You know, um, a couple of months back, he was telling, you know, every time he got interviewed saying that he, he wanted to make history and be uh, undisputed. That he wanted all the belts at 160. Well, you know, what, what happened to that? You know what I'm saying? Like, but um, I think that's pretty much all I got for you guys for now. Um, leave me your thoughts and comments. What do you guys think of the Ryan Garcia situation? Um, if you think they're, they're going to be scheduling a fight soon. Um, like I said, uh, the, the Devin Haney fight should be on tonight. Uh, I will be making a video later on tonight or if not tonight, hopefully this morning. I mean, tomorrow morning, I'm sorry. Early tomorrow morning, giving you guys my uh, my outtake on the fight. Um, right now, it should be coming on pretty soon, so I'm gonna head out and go do, and go watch that. Um, like I said, Hulk smash the like button, share the video, subscribe, hit the bell icon, get all the notifications. Um, let's keep this uh, boxing worldwide movement going. Peace.